Uh, Dr. Mehmet Oz joins us now live from Washington. Good enough to join us here. Th thank you, Dr. Oz. And Dr. Besser is going to stay and join our discussion. I'm going to get to you in just a moment, Dr. Oz. But Rich, just, just weigh in on all this. You know, I, Robin, I, you know, I have to tell you, Mehmet, I'm, I'm very upset about this. I think that this was extremely irresponsible. In putting out this kind of a health warming, uh, warning, manufacturing a health crisis based on faulty, incomplete data. Uh, this fear mongery, it, it, it reminds me of yelling fire in a movie theater. I, I'm, I'm very annoyed about this. And Dr. Oz, do, do you stand by your results? And how do you respond to what Rich just said? Absolutely. I'm not fear mongering. We did our homework on this, Rich, and you know, we spent a lot of time making sure we got our numbers right. Let me just go through this real quickly. Uh, we had uh, some concerns about arsenic and apple juice, not because we thought about it, but other groups independent of ours uh, over the last three years have been publishing reports about this. Uh, I have to call into question some of the assumptions that you're making. First off, uh, you claim that most of the arsenic and apple juice is of the organic type. Uh, th that is not true. Uh, one, the only peer-reviewed study that I looked at uh, that evaluated high levels of arsenic uh, which was published from the University of Arizona in, 19, in 2009, showed that most of the arsenic was actually of the inorganic. Man, the man, I, I, I have to Secondly, interrupt you there. I'm, I, I'm sorry. How can you go on the air and publish arsenic results without breaking it down into total, uh, into inorganic and organic, into the dangerous kind and the, and the, the, the kind that's not, not dangerous? I, I, Any food lab Rich, that does I'll, testing I'll, does I'll, total I'll, first and then looks to see, is it harmful? How can you tell people that this is harmful without even doing those tests? And how can you do testing in just one lab because without getting those, those results confirmed by other labs? No good scientist would ever do that kind of work. I disagree, Rich. You know, we looked at uh, the total arsenic levels because that's what the FDA looks at. That's what the EPA evaluates initially. In addition, your assumption that organic arsenic is safe is not true. Organic arsenic has been looked at primarily in, in fish and you know, in, in those species it does seem to be safe, but th there is a lot of debate over the safety of, of organic arsenic and the body converts inorganic arsenic to some types of organic arsenic that are very toxic. So it is misleading to claim that, that all of the organic arsenic is safe. But here's the big question, if I can focus us, the American people have a right to know that there has been a shift in, in, in our food supply for apple juice. I'm a big supporter of apple juice, I have talked about it on my show, I continue to give it to my kids. I want to be clear about this. No children are dying from acute toxicity from arsenic. The levels we're talking about are much lower than that. My concerns are about long-term effects over years of kids getting arsenic levels that are higher than we can tolerate. The FDA and the EPA have been continually reducing the amount of arsenic they think is safe for us. Mehmet, you are still, you are ago, still implying, you are still implying that drinking apple juice is exposing children to toxic arsenic, and you haven't even done that test. That is wrong. That is fear-mongering. You're, you're right, telling right. parents that they are poisoning their children, and you have absolutely no evidence of doing that. You haven't done those right tests. When, Rich, when other labs have tested the samples you tested, they found levels far lower than what you found. I mean, how can you say that there's an issue uh, with but, that? Rich. When we got the results from the FDA, who, by the way, when we initially reached out to the Jewish Manufacturers Association, the Jewish companies, and to the FDA, no one would participate in this discussion. Now, of course, they want to talk about it. Did you, did did you FDA, read the letters said, that they sent you? Out? The this? letters that are on their website? I, I did. did. I'll read get those to letters. that. What, 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 all, those letters are on our website. We published the entire dialogue so everyone can audit it on their own. But let me just com complete the sentence. The, uh, when we asked the FDA for information about how they determine the safe levels of arsenic in apples, they told us to file the Freedom of Information Act. We went on and did our own analysis. When we got the data from the FDA arguing that our numbers were erroneous, we retested the samples. Got in the same results. laboratory. Then, in when they, the they same laboratory again, you've when, been using. No, in the same lab. Then, then we had a separate group. This laboratory, by the way, is the laboratory that tests commercial samples and they send their data to the FDA and they work with the FDA on those samples. So it's not some run-of-the-mill lab. This is a high-quality lab. We would had another group independent B of us. Bottom line, Mehmet, are you, still, are you, so still, we telling parents, are you still telling parents that their children are being poisoned by apple juice and they shouldn't drink that? Are you standing behind the claim that, that apple no, juice is poisoned? No, I never said that. I, Rich, I... I never said that. What I said was we, the American public, has a right to know there are concerns because 60% of the apples in our apple juice come from overseas. We took great care in this country to ban arsenic and, and pesticides so we would protect our people. Now we're getting apples from other countries where they don't have those rules, where arsenic levels could be much higher. We had enough samples to show, to raise concern. And again, again, it's not just us. Three other groups had the same types of results. We just want to have the conversation. And we have been trying to make this conversation happen. The, we, the folks that we're talking to, both you and I, deserve 
of clarity on this issue. One quick bottom line, I would not take Apple just out of my kids' container right now. I've got four kids. I do think that we need to get clear on what level is acceptable, and I would argue the FDA should not allow more arsenic in our apple juice than we allow in our drinking water. If you're going to pay money to buy something Mehmet, for your you're kids, apples it ought to at least here. have a low arsenic level. Yeah, because you brought up water. Mehmet, this, you're, you're right. We have started a conversation here, and we appreciate your willingness to come on and talk to us live about it, and I'm sure it's a, a conversation that we're going to consider. And you, went to, you, went, you guys went to school together. We were classmates, right, that's we, right. We, we,